we go through a lot of things in our life. You know, we we struggle every day to get through just that one day, you know, sometimes. And, and then even in, when, in that one day, it seems like there's just a multitude of things lined up for you to be caring, worried about and trying so hard not to care so much about. And it's just a lot of things going on today. I was going through something recently myself, you know, and I was really trying to juggle that thing. And I was thinking about all the other things that I needed to do to handle and, and what was gonna, what was I going to do about this and what was I going to do about that and could I put this in place, could I put that in place, ah, oh, that's not going to work, you know. And I was really just going through some things. And then all of a sudden a thought came to mind. What are you doing? Why are you trying to handle all these things, all these things that's happening? You can't control any of it. So what are you trying to do? You don't have but two hands, two feet, two eyes, two ears. You only have one mouth, one nose. You know, girl, you're only one person. And your eyes can't be in one place and and right where you are at the same time. Your ears can't hear over there and be listening to 50 million people at one time. You're going to have to make a decision. And you know what helped me make that decision? For me to stop and wait a minute, hold them up, put a put some pump. So how do you say put some pump brakes in it? <laughs> what I did was I thought one thing. Pam, you can only handle one trial at a time. Trials are gonna come and they're gonna go. That's just one of them things you're gonna have to remember. So whenever the trials get drastically horrifying and it seems like they're overbearing and you can't handle them and getting overwhelmed. I want you to remember this one thing. Remember this. You can only handle one trial at a time, one problem at a time. You can only solve one at a time. Sometimes you may actually get one problem solved and it may solve the rest of them. So you have to remember you're only one person. You have one whole day to figure out what that one thing is going to be that day that you're going to get accomplished that's going to make you feel all right at the end of the day. You may say, well, I got about five of them. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You can only handle one trial at a time. Which one? If you never handle all five, one of those five is going to make you feel, okay, well, I I feel okay that I at least did that. That's the thing you're supposed to do that day. Which one has the most importance, the priority? And I'm not talking about, oh, I got to get paid. If I don't go to work today and I don't do this job right, I ain't going to get paid. And they're going to, hold up now, calm down. Who is your provider? Is it you or is it God? Remember, he says that with all things and everything, there's a reason why it's happening. There's a reason why it's going down like that or why it's coming up like that. With God, and I mean only God, all things are possible. So whatever it is that you really, really want to accomplish today and accomplishing whatever that drastic thing that's happening in your life, give it to God. Say, God, I don't know how to handle this. I don't know what to do about this. This thing is driving me crazy. But I know I need to handle it, God. What should I do? Where should I go? How should I feel about this thing that I'm going through and I'm struggling with? So many things coming at me at one time. God, I feel so overwhelmed. I feel like screaming. I feel like hitting something. I feel like just taking my car and just driving fast and just never come back. God says he will never put more on you than you can bear. So that means that for every day, for everything that comes up to approach you for that day, stop trying to go back and fix tomorrow. Stop trying to go back and fix yesterday. Stop trying to fix everything that's not in this moment right now. What is in your present day that you can take care of? What is in your present space right now that you can handle? Do you need to just say, I'm going to stop, take a deep breath, and I want you to think about it. What is going to be the theme of your day? Today, I'm going to just sit down and I'm going to say, today is going to be my car wash day. I don't know. Something could be about, well, I hate to say car wash. Some people may think that's not important. Maybe that's one of your dilemmas. You need to get it fixed and go get matched and not really get your car fixed, but at least get 
gonna get your car washed, but at least get it fixed. I need to get it here. Well, if you don't fix your car, you ain't gonna get to work or you're not gonna be able to get around, okay? And maybe you need to go and take care of your bills. And maybe today you need to go and uh, go to the doctor. You need to go take care of your kids better. You need to spend a little more time with them, you know? You need to go to, get, get to work and then go home on some time. Stop trying to stay at work all day. You go to work at 7 or 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 or 7, 7 o'clock in the morning, and don't get home till 9. Come on now. God says you can only handle one trial at a time. So when trials start piling on you, and they start coming up on you, and they making you feel overwhelmed, you say, hold them up. Wait a minute, God said that I can only handle one trial at a time. Which trial am I supposed to be handling right now? Which thing am I supposed to be taking care of? All this stuff ain't is on my list, but it don't mean I have to. I have all this one day to take care of all this. Sometimes things pile up on us because we haven't taken care of the day before. But you can't do nothing about yesterday. You can only do what you can do about today. Well, this has been the kindest moment from Lady Dr. P. I hope I bless somebody else today. And I'll see you again on the next round. God bless you.